Hello everyone, welcome back to Power System State Estimation. In the last class, we were discussing about state variables. The voltage magnitudes of all buses and the voltage angles of all buses are considered as state variables. All these state variables form a vector and we call this x. However, as the voltage angles are relative variables, we need to take one bus as reference. We take theta1 as 0 and we remove that from the vector. So if there are n buses in the system, then the total number of state becomes 2n minus 1. State estimation is applicable for overdetermined system. What does it mean by overdetermined system? If a system has more equations than the number of variables, then we call it an overdetermined system. In our case, if we have more measurements than the number of states, then we call it an overdetermined system. State estimation is applicable only for overdetermined system. If we have m measurements and the number of state is 2n minus 1, then m must be greater than 2n minus 1. If m becomes equal to 2n minus 1, then the problem reduces to power flow solution or load flow solution. So, what are the differences between DC or linear state estimation and AC or nonlinear non state estimation? In DC state estimation, only the phase differences are estimated. All voltage magnitudes are considered to be 1. Under this case, the reactive power Q becomes 0. And we collect the real power, the voltage magnitudes, and some other measurements. We do not collect the reactive power. In DC state estimation, the power consumed in the transmission line is considered to be 0. If the power flow from bus 1 to bus 2 is P12, and the power flow from bus 2 to two, bus 1 is P21, then P12 becomes equal to minus of P21. However, in AC state estimation, this is not true. We consider that there will be some loss in the, in the transmission line and they will not be equal. It is also true for the reactive power as well. So these are the formula for real and reactive power of a transmission line. These are the two basic state equations for state estimation. These relate the state variables with the measurement. These are the power flows of the transmission lines. So if the voltage magnitude of bus K is VK, the voltage magnitude of bus M is VM, then the power flow, real power flow from bus K to M is given by this equation and the reactive power flow from bus K to M is given by this equation. If we know these equations, then we can easily calculate the power injections of a bus. These are just the summation of the power flows of the transmission lines which are connected to the bus. That's all for today. In the next class, we will discuss about the Jacobian matrix. Thanks for watching.